Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to begin creating your cell phone amplifier. It's going to be made out of clay and what you're going to do is you're actually going to start with a pretty large ball of clay. And we're going to begin just like we did our pinch pots last week. So you're going to roll it into a round-ish ball. If it's not perfect, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, you can see my one's kind of lumpy. And then I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to stick it in the center. Remember, you don't want to go all the way through because you'll end up with a donut. So what you're really trying to do is just try to get to um, close to the bottom. And then I'm going to do the same thing that I did when I created my pinch pot and I'm going to stick my thumb in, my fingers on the outside, and I'm going to pinch and turn. And this should take you probably about 10 minutes uh, to create this form. And what you really want to do, instead of trying to get a round, flat bottom, you kind of want to leave the bottom because we're trying to make more of a cone. On your, table, on your tables, you will see uh, I've cut out a piece of paper roughly the size of a cell phone. Your cell phone may be slightly larger, and in that case, you want to use your cell phone as a point of reference um, to create the hole. But we're going to do that tomorrow when your clay is leather hard, which is the next step of clay. So it, right now, you're working with wet clay. Okay, and you can see that I'm slowly creating this form. And I want it to stand on its side and I want to be able to put my cell phone here. But right now my clay is very thick on the bottom and you can test it by touching and you can kind of feel how, how the distance between your index finger and then like your thumb on each side. And what you want to do is you just want to keep pinching. You really are going for a cone shape and you don't want to get too wide so you can kind of pinch back and I'm gonna make mine a mouth so I'm really looking for like a really natural mouth shape so this is kind of the shape that I'm actually going for right here okay so right here I'm gonna pinch a little bit more to get it a little bit thinner and then I'm gonna stop this is the part where quality and craftsmanship really come into play so what I did in about two minutes was go from a ball of clay to more of a mouth shape. Now depending on the shape that you're making um, will determine the opening. Um, but remember you want your cell phone to sit on the top and you want a place the sound to, tra to travel or amplify. So what you can see here is that I have um, this form and I have a lot of bumps. I have a lot of elephant skin and what I'm calling elephant skin is just like these dry, cracky areas. The only tools that I'm using today are my fingers and I have this bowl of water right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to smooth all this out and smoothing should take you the majority of the time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna just get dip it in water one time and I'm gonna start rubbing. If you've ever had Kool-Aid that is watered down, or any drink that's watered down, you know um, that it's basically just a weakened form of it. So because there's water in this clay, if you put too much water on your clay, it will weaken it and water your clay down and then it will crack. So you're trying to avoid that. So you really wanna use as little water as possible. And you can see here, like my fingers aren't even wet anymore and I'm really just holding underneath to support and I'm rubbing to make it smooth. The smoother it is, the better your uh, finished product will look. So this is where you really need to take your time today and smooth out all of the areas. Okay. Um, once you have it smooth, you're gonna place this into two um, plastic bags. And I have plastic grocery bags to put them in. And you're gonna stick them um, in the storage room next door. And then tomorrow you can add the features. So your first step is roll into a ball, stick your thumb in it, and then start pinching to create your form.